Problem Brothers is back today with our signature landed home tour series and today we are in this beautiful landed enclave called Villa Verde located in District 23 of Chua Chu Kang And if you're in the market for something under $2.5 million quantum for a landed property you're going to want to stay tuned to check out the beautiful interior renovations of this home Let's go! So before we head into the home, some brief facts on this project over here. This is a total of 515 units of landed properties that was done by Capital Land. TOP in the year 2000, they are all seated on a 99-year leasehold plot of land starting from 1997. About 74 years in terms of the balance lease and we think that's still a very healthy entry point to be coming into for a landed property. And location-wise, there's two main entry points right along Verde View and Verde Walk. So we are located along Verde Crescent. Right here, you'll notice that this is right to the end of a cow de sac meaning that there's no true traffic coming through the outside of your home. Usually those who are parked here are going to be residents or their guests and similarly for yourself So in terms of your land plot, you're seated on 1615 square feet of land Built up space, you have roughly about 3000 odd square feet in terms of your floor size Width, you get 6 meters Depth, you got about 25 meters Car porch towards the front together with a koi pond and a bit of garden space You can easily park up to 2 cars right on your front porch Living room, dining area, open kitchen concept as well as a wet kitchen Helper's room, a powder room, backyard master bedroom plus it's ensuite And another junior master bedroom with an ensuite as well 2 bedrooms, 1 Jack and Jill bathroom, a family room as well as a full courtyard space. What our owners have done is they spent about $400,000 in terms of renovation just about three years back. That includes the tiling for your front porch. The astroturf has already been done. They have also done up a koi pond. This can also be converted into a swimming pool if you want to. But I think what they have done here is a very nice outdoor alfresco area. Not much works required to do and then you can just move right on in. So now let's head inside and chat more. So as you come into the home, you're greeted by a 3.1 meter in terms of ceiling height. Very generous in terms of the space that you're getting into your living room space. Currently fitted with like a six-seater L-shaped couch, Venetian glass doors. These are bifold type of doors during the evening times. So you can turn on the lighting on the outside and then just open up this blind and this creates the very nice integrated outdoor and indoor space. So for the finishings here, marble flooring across the living and dining room space. Floating TV console right over here, so lots of storage space. There's a mural backdrop wallpaper that they have done and that complements the entire team of the renovations of the home. Because you have such a huge integrated space on your living, dining and your open kitchen space, what they have done is installed already two castle aircons into this entire zone. Right over towards the other side of the living room space, this is where you'll find that they have done a full stretch of shoe cabinets. So although this has been beautifully designed to integrate all the communal spaces together, what we have here is some split steps. So that creates a bit of segregation between your dining space and your living room space. If you want a rectangular setup, eight-seater is definitely still sufficient in terms of space about requirement for space, there are a couple of categories that buyers may consider. So the first penthouses, some might even consider them landed properties in the sky. Some things to take note of for condos, roof terrace space are considered maybe about 50% in terms of the value of the interior. And the next category is cluster houses or strata houses. This is something suitable for you if you are looking for a landed living type of lifestyle together with a condo management. For those type of properties, you don't get to enjoy the flexibility of having being able to do up the property per your own family requirements in terms of the layout. Last category, landed properties, which is the cream of the crop if you are looking for space, which is in the category that we are in today. In terms of overall supply, there's just about 70,000 in terms of the entire country. But of course, that comes with the premium in terms of the price tag to it. The plus point is now you can alter the house per your family requirements. So let's touch on the freehold type of landed properties first. The minimal entry point is about four odd million dollars. And usually the holding period is more than about 10 to 15 years. And sometimes they treat this as legacy assets to pass on to future generations. Or they pretty much treat it as a blue chip investment in terms of storing value. The next subcategory, 99 year leasehold type of landed properties. These type of properties usually they get to enjoy all the space and flexibility of a pure landed property. But with a leasehold tag to it. They are usually right from the start, the developer built it right to the max in terms of the floor space that you're getting. And buyers in this category, they may want to be entering into a more affordable price tag overall for a leather property. That allows them flexibility to place the extra funds maybe into other investments. 
So let's say that you have a budget of about $4 million. The first angle of thought, of course, is maybe you want to enter into a freehold landed properties. But the alternative strategy that you can take also, if let's say we take the listed price of this property, for example, $2.49 million, then you can place the extra $1.5 million into maybe a three-bedroom or four-bedroom condo in the nearby area, and that can generate you rental income as a passive income. Let's say you go for the freehold landed property, $4 million entry quarter, your down payment will be about $1 million, 25%. Your monthly mortgage, the ongoing interest rate 1.5% for 30 years tenure of about $10,354 a month. If you take the other approach, go for a leasehold lender at $2.49 million plus a condo at $1.5 million quantum, your total down payment will also be about $1 million for both properties added together. Monthly mortgage for $6,445 and for the condo that will be $3,883. Total again about $10,000. But of course you have that second property which is a condo running a rental income. Let's do an estimate on today's rate is about $4,500. So if we less that off from your monthly mortgage, that brings your total outgoing to about $5,828 per month. Let's say both you and your spouse contribute to your CPF OA $2,600 in total. That means that your monthly cash outlay is about $3,228 a month. That basically means that both you and your spouse each just need to contribute about $50 odd a day to stay in a landed property and have a condo under each of your name. I think if you are looking for a landed property at a more affordable and tastier price, Stack that allows you to place your other funds into other investments that I think the 99 year lease hotel land property may be more suitable for you. Now moving on, continuing back with the interior of the home. What the owners have done in terms of the renovations to the home is that they have created nice separate zonings. The renovations done to this entire open kitchen concept is a nice modern blue design that is combined together with this very neutral, soothing early tones from the wood. And what we have over here is this very nice central island countertop that can act as like a breakfast table. Lots of top and bottom cabinetry. And because this is an indoor open kitchen concept, what they have done here is just an induction cooker together with a fish and pickle cooker hood. And then right over here, you have your nice oven a microwave oven that has been inbuilt. Fridge space has also been allocated already, so this can easily fit in most of the two-door fridges. And then over on this side, on hindsight, this actually looks like just a feature wall that is tucked away. Behind this panel, what we have is the powder rules. Usually well maintained in terms of the tiles. There's total washlet. There's I think there's no necessity to change that also if you're moving into here. Everything has been kept in pristine condition. <laughs> This space over here now use more of a storeroom space. If you want to convert this to a granny room, I think that's very doable. And then on this side over here, there's a bit more pantry space for you to place some dry goods. And then towards the back of the house, this is where they have done very nice sliding glass door panels. So this allows for lighting to pass through nicely. You can just open this up and then this allows very nice ventilation. All the floor tiles and astroturfing drainage have already been kept in very pristine condition. And then this here will be a wet kitchen zone. So if you do a bit of heavy cooking, usually you like to place it towards the outdoors. Right towards the back here, I think very flexible in terms of your usage. You can just create another outdoor chillax zone if you want a bit more privacy towards the back of the house. Alternatively, you can do a garden zone zone or a small gym area right towards this back porch. This entire backyard zone doesn't occupy too much of your floor space so I think just the right amount for your utility zone. So right now I'll pass you on to Jessly to take you upstairs through the rest of the home. So on the second level, you can find two master bedrooms. One is the main one and you have the junior master on the other side. As we enter the master bedroom, you will find that the whole layout is really cleverly done. So the original floor plan has already dedicated a huge space for the entire master bedroom. They have fitted in a queen size, but you can definitely switch up to a king size. You have two side table or there is enough space for you to walk around or even fit in your massage chair right at the corner as well. And on the other side, is your walk-in wardrobe so a nice area we have the dressing table already done up you have all this whole length of wardrobe space i think the entire team is done very consistently throughout the entire home orientation wise this is the north so the back of the house we're talking about a north south orientation over here as you enter into your bathroom you have more storage spaces all this shelving has been nicely done this is where you can put all your bags additional shelvings and storage for you to book the bulky 
items. So this is the best part of the entire ensuite because it's such an open concept. You have the wash area already outside, nice basin, very nice quartz countertop and plenty of storage space for you to put more of your toiletries at the bottom. And I think this bathroom is definitely going to enter the Pinterest because you have a really unique bathtub already nicely placed in here for you. This moss wall that we're talking about is self-sustaining because it just absorbs all the moisture from the entire bathroom. So this entire bathroom team, I would say it makes me feel like I'm in a Bali resort because in terms of the flooring, you see that it's a wooden kind of a design lined up with all these uh, textured tiles really feels good to the touch. Now I'm gonna bring you to the other junior master. So welcome to this junior master. As you can see here, this is really generous in size. Uh, most of the items here are movable, so there is no permanent fixture here. They have already fitted in a queen size. You have one small side table on here. And on the other side, they have two laundry racks. So you can roughly imagine how huge and generous this space is. So in terms of the orientation, we are talking about a south orientation here. And because this is an upward moving slope, even though you are looking towards your neighbor here, but you don't have another window that's looking through your home. And because it's elevated, you get some sort of a privacy over here. So on the other side of this junior master, they have the wardrobe already done up. This is six panels of wardrobe spaces. They have put in a lot of effort in terms of this particular ensuite as well. In terms of the towels, they all redone it. In terms of the colouring also, it's in rose gold. How rare can you find rose gold kind of a hardware? So this is really very precious. And you have a wet area which is nicely glassed up and partitioned already. Coming on to the third level and something really unique about this entire landed is that they do have a courtyard. So for the current owners, what they have did is to change it into like a planting area so you can assess from this side. So this whole wall of greenery that you see here is self-sustaining, self-irrigation system as well. You don't need to maintain anything at all. You have this natural sunlight that's coming in. So it's really great because like sometimes you're on the third level, you just want to enjoy a bit on the sunshine and you can see potentially what you can do is to cover this up and change it into like a skylight so that it's entirely enclosed maybe you can put in an AC and change this into a proper room as well coming on you have this area is what we call the family room currently the owners have changed it into like a study area or like a workstation and the best part is that since you already have a window situated facing towards the front what you can do is actually to conceal this part of the area have a door inwards and this entire area can be converted into a proper functional bedroom with its own ensuite as well. Next, you have another common room and this is facing towards the front of the unit. Currently, this really is a blank canvas but you can fit in easily a king, a queen space for you to build. Study station, right across, they have already built on the wardrobe all the way up so this is a really good height. Last but not least, let me bring you to the last bedroom. So this is the fourth bedroom we are talking about here. Really generous in size. You can have your workstation as what the owners have did. And on the other corner, you have more than enough room for you to put in your queen. Where the sofa is can be your wardrobe space. So this bedroom here is slightly unique because they do have like a Jack and Jill bathroom. So in terms of the design wise, really unique. All the walls, the tiles are all nicely done. You have your WC as well as your basin. A wash area nicely glassed up with a partition. And you do have a ventilation window to dispel all the moist too. of location wise this particular landed estate is in between Chua Chu Kang MRT as well as UT MRT station. In terms of amenities wise you will be spoiled for choices because you have Lot 1 shopping mall, Bukit Panjang Plaza, UT Point. Within one kilometer you can find Teck Y Primary, we have Kranji Primary, UT Primary. The more popular school will be the De La Cell. Secondary options you do have Region Sec. Nearby you have Jurong Pioneer JC. If you are someone who drive you'll be pleased to know that we are just one road that is a Woodlands Road towards 
towards the KJE and that will take you to the western part of Singapore and if you are heading towards the central part the Woodlands Road will take you towards Upper Bukit Timah and that is towards town area up and coming wise we have the Jurong Region Line and that's going to be completed maybe in about 10 years time and what it means is that you will be well connected to your work area as well as where you live As a new homeowner for this particular unit, one of the main concerns would be that if you were to buy over this unit, then what would be your exit strategy in the near future? What's happening in the landed market is what we call the spillover effect and it begins from the CCR to the RCR and where we are, the OCR region. As the demand for landed continues to surge, the first consideration that any buyer is going to take into factor is based on quantum. And the easiest to enter in terms of quantum-wise is in the Terrace. So as evident from the entire pandemic season, as the prices move up in terms of PSF and pushes the entire landed pricing upwards in tandem, the easiest quantum to enter in terms of landed will be the least whole time. If you were to take a look at the entire radius surrounding Villa Verde, the next landed cluster would be a freehold one, Pavilion Circle. Now, based on the past transactions, the PSF has already increased from 1008 to 2001. 15% in terms of increment in 6 months, pushing the quantum from $3 million to $3.5 million. So where we are is a Villa Verde. Now from May to November, the PSF has increased from 1019 to 1195, 17% in terms of increment. And this is evident throughout the entire Singapore. All the transactions have been going upwards. And what it means for you as a new homeowner is that this will definitely still be one of the most affordable landed in the near future for the next buyer. So just to sum it up for this home, this is seated on 1615 square feet of land, total of approximately 3,000 square feet of built-up space. The owners here, they have beautifully pumped in about $400,000 of renovations to create this move-in condition landed property. And if you're in the market for something under the $2.5 million quantum, I think this one is for you. If you would like to arrange for a viewing, do contact myself and Gavin. All the description is down below in the box. Do help to like to our YouTube channel. We can also be found on Facebook, Instagram, as well as TikTok. Once again, my name is Jess Lilim. Yeah. Kevin Chan, Paul Brothers, Brothers, always happy to show you the place. And sometimes the owners here, they treat this as... No. Where did my body go? Only you can see my head. Eh? <laughs> so one thing to note is the the owner have actually revarnished and sent down the sin. Bring the owner down. Yeah, we have one of a display over here. Yeah, this is about worth about one dollar. It comes together with the sale as well. So uh, you can arrange for viewing with us, myself and Gavin. Uh, the, list, the description is at the top of the. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.